The gift that keeps on giving No Man's Sky dropping another surprise update hot off the heels of the Sentinels update not even that much more than a month ago. And boy, is it a meaty one. We talk through all the details and the patch notes right here in the LZ. My fellow space pirates, you have parlayed into the LZ. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out the patch notes for the No Man's Sky Outlaws update. We'll also be scrolling the patch notes on the side of the screen there for your viewing pleasure. Also check the description below for a direct link if you'd like to look at it yourself. Today's video is going to talk through a lot of the aspects of this update, the major pieces, a few surprises. So if this is helpful to your No Man's Sky experience, especially if you're new to No Man's Sky and new to the LZ, pop a like and feel free to hang out in the future. So first things first, the Outlaws updates introduced sing update 3.85 and you'll notice that uh, we are creeping ever closer to No Man's Sky version 4.0. Now I have a little bit of speculation here for a second before we get deep into the patch notes here. Uh, looking forward to version 4.0 probably landing this summer alongside the Nintendo Switch version. No more news on the Nintendo Switch version today, uh, but uh, this is all Outlaws related, but I just wanted to note that Sentinel and Outlaws, this new update launching today, isn't quite 4.0 yet. So I imagine 4.0 is going to be a pretty meaty update coming this anniversary, probably July or August, if history has anything to say about that, which it typically does. For me, the marquee piece of this update, and you would probably disagree, that's okay, but the solar ships, a new type of ship, absolutely gorgeous, Carrying along with it a little bit of a Star Wars vibe. Very good looking. Giant solar sails. Uh, and they apparently come with some extra unique technologies that have them, you know, travel longer ranges within star systems. I really dig that. But No Man's Sky players have been waiting for sort of an overhaul to space stations. Uh, this is kind of that, but not fully that. Outlaws introduces Outlaw Stations, sort of a dark and dank place to hang out with other sort of pirate travelers. Definitely gives off a sort of scuzzy place that, you know, that no good Samaritan would ever want to be. But not only is it an outlaw overhaul to stations, but it's an outlaw overhaul to the star system that that system stays in. So you don't have to worry about sentinels. Technology mer merchants kind of sell their own contraband items and missions. Uh, that's really neat to, to see differentiation between the star systems. Truly a lawless place. Now, space combat has seen some some tweaks in the past. I think if I note it correctly, Atlas Rises was the first big upgrade to combat uh, a few years back. But this looks to be the biggest, most sizable combat update yet when it comes to space combat. Not only has it been rebalanced where the different types of weapons that you have for your ships do different things, which was an overhaul that sort of on-foot combat already got, which was kind of nice. It adds a little more diversity to the combat experience, helping you to choose between weapons that have different effects and different benefits that isn't just directly shooting ships and blowing them up, right? There's a lot more strategy. They've added shields to enemy ships that you can drain down and eventually destroy those ships. They gave an overhaul to the explosion graphics, making them look more dramatic. More on combat here in a moment, but next up in the patch notes, talks about passing frigate fleets. So if you were here in 2016 and you know there was a gigantic launch debacle, there was a laundry list of things that supposedly hadn't been added to the game at launch that was that was talked about, passing frigate fleets was one of those items. So being able to look up in the sky if you're planet side and seeing giant frigates passing, or passing by, that has been something I've dreamed of for a very long time. It, it probably adds absolutely nothing to the gameplay, but man, does it add to the majestic sort of vibe that this game can deliver. And this was something that was shown in pre-launch trailers, trailers that never made it to the game. Sweet little addition there. A long time requested feature in smuggling that the No Man's Sky community has been asking for. This allows you to purchase contraband goods.
goods and then carry them across the star systems to sell them for a larger profit. This also facilitated the addition of cargo holds for your ships. Talk about that here in a moment. Something that's been kind of present, but not directly a feature, something that could just happen on planets uh, without any real direct impact to the game. In atmosphere combat, so not only now can you have expanded combat, combat in space, but you can have that combat within planetary atmospheres as well. We mentioned mentioned cargo holds a moment ago, and starships can now be fitted with a high-capacity cargo inventory, enabling players to haul more than ever across the galaxies. So I have to play around with this myself. I don't know if this is just an expanded inventory, or if it's really just cargo that you can hold and haul across the galaxy that is separate from your main ship inventory. Something to check out there. We talked about combat a moment ago, but... Not only did combat get an overhaul, it got a piece that was sorely missing from before launch. No Man's Sky Outlaws adds squadrons. So if you watch the original trailers for No Man's Sky way back in the day, right? Six years ago, seven years ago, before the game had even launched, you would notice that you had wingmen that would show up and sort of join combat with you. That was something that we all wish we really, really had, but was never added to the game. It makes you wonder if it was just not feasible at the time or if it just didn't work right but now you can recruit roaming pilots into your own squadron to accompany you along the journey these wingmen will automatically warp to your location during space combat and can be summoned to fly into formation at any time really really boss looking there and uh, it looks almost exactly like it did in the launch trailers uh, or the trailers before launch man it's so sick not only do you have wingmen but you can manage and upgrade them as well well, so that gives a nice little sort of meta change or a little meta feature that allows you to not just take them to combat, but manage them. I think that's really neat. Speaking of fleets, uh, originally before Outlaws, you as a player were able to carry six ships in your inventory, right? So you can switch between them pretty much at any time. Outlaws expands that from six to nine ships. And so a side note for a second, not only did they add a new type of ship, but they expanded how many ships that you can carry as a player. It just, I just, please add ship building. Uh, please add ship customization. Like I am so ready. It's almost like they are hinting at it. And it, it just, it, it feels like something that would just be fresh and ripe for 4.0 when that gets here. Uh, I, I, I pray for that. I know not all of the No Man's Sky community agrees with that type of feature. But please, 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 please make some kind of ship customization happen. Um, I would love you forever, Hello Games. Uh, this just kind of seals the deal for me that that's something that is either coming or can easily be done at this point. Knowing that now we have so many ship parts, knowing that we have uh, so much space uh, that we can build a ship and carry ships. I'm just saying. Nextly, my good buddy Ray Reynolds on Twitter is going to be super happy. Something that he has been uh, asking for ever since the Frontiers update. I think even before the Frontiers, uh, the Frontiers update actually, because there was character art that had capes. And for no particular reason other than to just look badass, you can now wear capes. Which also came along with cloth physics as well. So that looks pretty neat. Big old curtains of leather hanging off the back of your 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 star person the next feature is something that i am super super proud to talk about uh because when you talk about this kind of thing in this industry an industry that is very sort of polarized on access into various types of games i enjoy when we talk about giving access to not even just players who are maybe not that good at video games, but those who aren't as able as you and I. Not only does the space combat autopilot give it an easier experience to help you maybe turn the experience away from having to steer and manage your weapons, but it allows you to focus on maybe just the strategy of it without being directly involved in steering the ship, which can probably be disorienting for some, or even just maybe a little bit overwhelming. It's definitely an accessibility option that helps automatically track uh, track enemy ships while still allowing precision adjustments from player input but allows for auto targeting and it just kind of 
plays the experience for you while you take more of a back seat and kind of manage how everything is going. This is an option that you can enable within the menu and is uh, it just helps to enhance the accessibility of the game. So bravo to Hello Games and really any game dev studio that allows more accessibility options within their games. And next, as with any general update, pretty much recently with No Man's Sky, at least in the last uh, you know year or more, a new update comes with a new expedition. If you're not familiar with expeditions, they are a temporary sort of live service type of thing uh, where you kind of start a new save and you participate with hundreds of other travelers on various planets and star systems, completing missions and getting rewards out of those. These things are absolutely free, like every single update that comes with No Man's Sky. And I have called it, uh, you know, the expeditions of the past, the most engaging part of No Man's Sky, if you're looking for something that's a little more MMO-ish, but not directly, right? You're on, you're starting a planet with other players, even, you know, dozens of other players. And this one's called the Blighted Expedition. That's going to be launching soon. Usually the expeditions don't launch alongside the update when they happen. Uh, that gives them some time to work out any bugs that the update themselves brought, which almost every time a new update happens, there are bugs that they will spend the few days leading into that weekend uh, crushing and getting out of the way before they launch that expedition so they can comfortably do so. Remember, Hello Games is a tiny team, and so they're going to focus that bandwidth first on just making sure the quality of the update is sound before they launch the update for the uh, expedition. So that's going to happen probably a week or more after this update happens. Now, of course, the Outlaws update wouldn't be an Outlaws update if it didn't come with interstellar piracy. So uh, profits available to those who would prey on trader ships or passing freighters has been increased through sent though the sentinels that will sort of bug you for doing that kind of thing will now respond to attacks on planetary trade routes. Of course, being a pirate isn't great for your reputation. And a few updates ago, like middle of last year, an update added station cores to space stations and but was never fleshed out on. It was never, nothing ever came of it. And this sort of drove the players crazy because for months and months, here's this new feature that got no support. <laughs> it was just, here's a new look for something and it does absolutely nothing. And we have a history of that kind of happening with No Man's Sky where we try to like figure it out as a community and Hello Games are just kind of sitting back going, Haha, it doesn't work and they don't tell us obviously. Um, but Station Cores got an upgrade and they're now functional where you can restore your reputation at those Station Cores with forged passports that you earn uh, after being a pirate and being general scumbag in space. But along with piracy comes their unique pirate missions too. Bounty Masters will inhabit these outlaw stations that'll offer you unique procedurally generated missions along with highly profitable rewards. And next, planetary pirate raids, uh, or even just raids, I think was something that a lot of the No Man's Sky community had been asking for for a while. Many of these features actually uh, are generally something that the No Man's Sky community is always talking about and always requesting from Hello Games. So if a settlement or any kind of buildings or you know planetary structures are being attacked by pirates, you can launch to the sky and take them down for some rewards. But those were the big marquee features of this outlaw update. Uh, there's a lot more in the patch notes as far as fixes and additions and of course things uh, that you know verbiage that's expanding upon the features that we already talked about in today's video. I'm telling you we're going into year six for this game and as Sean Murray perfectly stated in his tweets they aren't showing any signs of slowing down. Any other AAA industry publisher or developer would have probably already moved on from this game. Uh, uh, this update actually is free like any other update to there's uh, not another penny that they're asking for you other than the asking price, which is on sale on all of the platforms right now. I think it's 50% off, which is a good deal for No Man's Sky considering it's gotten, what, 15, 14 free updates now? And of course, with that said, that is our detailing of the No Man's Sky Outlaws update. Please comment down below your thoughts about this new edition and what do you want to see in the eventual inevitable 4.0 coming this summer. Love to hear from you in the comments section below. And thank you so much for hanging out in the LZ today. See you in the next one.